All right, what's happening, family? Our movement still moving. Um, I had to apologize to my father. Now I don't make stuff, you know, like this, but I think this particular one is relevant. Well, as a parent, you don't realize the things you did as a kid until it happens to you as a parent. And it's sad that you have to look back at stuff and say, damn, I was doing that. Um, basically, me and my parents have mm, decent relationships, you know. I call I call bullshit when I call bullshit. I think they tr they do the same thing. But becoming a parent is a different story when you find yourself seeing how things play out. And what I mean by that is this. When I was a kid, I had a bad image of my father from things that he did. But I also had a bad image of my father from things people said about him. So when I would talk to him, I would be disrespectful. And a lot of times, I was disrespectful because what somebody told me about him that I didn't see. The things I saw, I didn't like. But the things I didn't see that I was mad about, I shouldn't have been mad about. But I was a kid. I was being influenced. And you never realize how, you know when you meet somebody and people have an opinion of them before you meet them. And you're just looking at them like, wait until they're they going to do what, I, what they said I was going to do. But you never realize you're coming at them sideways. See, you, you're waiting for them to be sideways with you while you're coming at them sideways. And you don't realize you're causing this issue. So that was the thing. I had to say, you know, I'm sorry. Because there were issues that I had with my father that I caused from being disrespectful little fuck. You know? <laughs> And as a parent, I see, okay, yeah, I, I see where, how that plays out. Because you can't explain to your kid that, yo, you're being an asshole right now. Because they're too young to tell them you be, that they're being an asshole. And they don't realize, they, they wouldn't catch it if you figured it out. So, for a lot of, um, not necessarily fathers, uh but necessarily fathers. A lot of guys who are fathers now and used to be kids and they're dealing with the same issue because that's when I came across it when my son came in me kind of awkward and I was like, who the, who do you think you're talking to? Like, what are you, you know, what are you, my, boy, I, I power drive you some well. But I knew he got it, he got the attitude from his mother. You get what I'm saying? So, like, and I also had to apologize to my father for having for not having enough common sense to say, to know earlier, even though I was younger, I was a pretty smart kid. And I should have, you know, the things I figured out then, I didn't figure out completely. But, you know, I put two and two together. I, I should have known um, that when I was calling out my mother's bullshit, when I started saying every, everything wasn't honest and true, you know, then I'm like, I, I was going at one parent and going at the other, but neither one of them knew I was going at each other because they were in seven places. But I was disrespectful to him more so because I was told to be disrespectful to him. So, you know, um, but I, going back, I was apologizing for having to see it happen to my, myself with my own two eyes and say, oh, that's what, that's why. I got my ass whipped. It wasn't because he was a mean man. It was because I just thought I could just get up in the morning, pack my bag, say, I'm going over to daddy's house. I'm going to talk shit to him. He ain't good. You ain't nobody. Mama told me you ain't shit. Now I'm going to tell you you ain't shit. It ain't nothing you can do about it. it. Ain't no reason why you could change my opinion. And I walked in there and I talked some king shit, got my ass busted. And then I was like, he's so mean. I'm wrong with him. He's crazy. I hate him. I hate him. I hate him. <laughs> but it was really because I was acting like an asshole. You know, so maybe I cuss too much for you to show this to your kids. <laughs> but I think it just needs to be put out there that, you know, some of us approach people in a negative way because other people told us they were negative people. And we're sitting there looking at people like, 
you know, I know you, you know, I know you're going to fuck up. You know, like, when you see these, the videos of the police officers, don't raise your voice to me. What the fuck are you talking about? Don't, don't disrespect me. What the fuck are you talking about? They've already got in their mind that the shit's about to go down. So they're starting this shit, and then they're like, that's why you see a lot of people, they just have to start the fight, like probable cause fights and whatnot, because they realize they're so far deep into it, ain't really no going back. So, for, 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 for you younger folks, take a breath, step back, and ask yourself if it's about your father or your mother or a friend or a family member or some person you just never met. If people tell you negative things about them, they may actually live up to all of those things. But let them do that with you on you and their time. Don't come at them sideways off the bat. Because the response you get is not a response for them being all the negative things people told you. The response you get is because you came at them sideways. You feel me? All right, I'm out.